Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, I want to show you a new dashcam recently released by Yi, the Mini Dashcam. What I like about this is that it is a smaller and more discreet form factor as compared to their other dashcams. It is a wedge type camera that hugs and blends well with your windshield that if you don't look closely, you will think that is a part of the original equipment of your car. Now, let's check out the features. It is a 1080p full HD with a wide angle lens and a field of view of 140 degrees. It has a 2 inch LCD screen and also records audio with a built in mic and speaker. It accepts a micro SD card for recording video from 8 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes. It is Wi Fi accessible with your smartphone via the app on iOS or Android platforms. It has an emergency recording feature. When there is a collision or hard braking, the camera will automatically lock and protect the footage. The USB power cable is 11.5 feet, which is long enough for installations on any cars or trucks. Now let's open up the box. We have the dash cam, and you will see the 2 inch LCD screen, a red emergency record button, record or previous, playback or next, and the power button, a status and a charging indicator LED lights. On the right side is the micro USB power port, a micro SD card slot, and the speaker. At the front, we have the 3M mounting tape, vents, and the camera lens. The camera lens is adjustable up or down, so you can easily adjust it whenever it is already mounted in your windshield. On the left side, we have the mic and the reset button. Now, this camera mounts in your windshield like so, making the distance on the camera lens to the windshield minimal, decreasing the glare. Plus, it makes it more discreet as compared to the traditional rectangular dash camera in a suction mount. So what else is inside the box? We have the user guide, which is pretty thorough and is translated in several languages. We have the warranty card a social media information card for the Yi, and some advertising leaflet. Hmm, I didn't know that Yi also makes drones. Now we have the USB car charger, and the 11 and a half feet micro USB power cable. Plugging in the cable automatically turns on the camera, and if you have the micro SD card installed, it will start recording. Initially, it will prompt you to install the Yi Smart Dash Camera app so that you can access the footage via the app. To install the micro SD card, just push it in on the slot. Let's check out the settings. To turn on the dash cam manually, push the power button and hold for a second. To get to the settings, push the button again. First, on the settings is the resolution. It defaults to 1080p at 30 frames per second, or you can lower it down to 720p at 30 fps, which I don't recommend. Then we have the video duration, which the video clips can be 1 minute or 3 minutes long. So basically, the camera will split the footage to 1 or 3 minutes. Then we have the mic on or off. G sensor sensitivity, so whenever there's a collision or hard braking, the camera will lock the current scene. And we have the LCD on time, 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minutes, or always on. Then we have the brightness, low, medium, and high. Wi-Fi, which defaults to on. Then, format SD card. Doing this will erase all the data on the card. There's a factory reset, 
set date and time power on off sound and also clicking the button sounds if you want them on or off then we have the driving report which after 10 minutes of driving when you turn off the car it will show acceleration brakes and driving time lastly we have the language and the about info now let's install this in my windshield using the 3m mounting tape just find the permanent location for the camera as you can see, this type of form factor is pretty good for a more permanent and discreet install. Just route the wires up and tuck it in your headliner. Down the A pillar, under the dash, and to the nearest outlet. Newer cars have the USB port, and you can just plug it in. Just make sure that it turns on when the car is on and off when the car is off. Now, let's check out some footage. Um, this is the audio quality of the Yi Mini dash cam. This with the windows rolled up. How about some night footage? Depending on the outside lighting, the video clip is decent, but when you start driving on streets that don't have light posts and mostly dark, you will notice some grainy artifacts, mostly on the edges or in the dark areas of the footage. Lastly, you can use the Yi Dashcam app to get to live view, access and download the video clips to your phone using the camera's built-in Wi-Fi. Just click on the upper left menu on the app, click My Devices, Add Device, select the Yi Mini Dashcam at the bottom, and making sure the camera is on, click Next. Confirm the Wi-Fi is on. Take note of the password and click Choose Wi-Fi. Select the Yi CarCam Network. And type in the password, which is basically 1 through 9 and 0 at the end. And click Join. When connected, go back to the app. You will then see a live view from the camera. Click on the album if you want to see the video footage. Select on the footage that you want to watch. which is a bit slow in loading the video. And if you want to download the clip, click the download button, which is also a little bit slow in downloading a one minute clip. I think it would be better just to remove the micro SD card and view or upload the footage to your computer. Another thing that I noticed is the LCD screen. You really cannot tilt it up or down when it is already installed. 
and also depending on your windshield, you will barely see anything on the 2 inch screen when it is in an angle. Also, because it is a square and the aspect ratio is 16 by 9, ye compress the view making everything thinner. Also, the Achilles heel of any dash camera is the micro SD card. First, I recommend for you to get a high endurance card. The heat and also frequent recording over will take its toll. I'll link some below that I am using. So, a dash cam needs to have an alarm or an alert feature whenever the card goes bad or doesn't record. This is a feature that is missing from this dash cam. Overall, for the price, it is a pretty decent 1080p dash camera. The wedge type design is what I like just because it is as close to the windshield and is unobtrusive. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button below. To get gadget and tech reviews like this video, comparison videos, long-term reviews and product updates, and everyday life hacks. Thank you.